Let's install and set up OpenRPA. You will need to head to openrpa.dk in your browser, that is openrpa.dk. Then we'll click the Get Started icon over here, which will take us to OpenRPA's Git. Scroll a little bit down, and here we can download the latest release under Download and Try It Out here. Click this one, and we will download the setup files for OpenRPA. While we are downloading, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get all the new videos about RPA and OpenRPA. After we have downloaded the installer, we can now click and open it. Here we will have a warning that's nothing, so we will click More Info, Run Anyway. Now the installer will run here. We will just choose the default settings. We will install for all users of this machine. Fine. Here you can see all the integrations. Some of them will be installed when we need them and some of them will be installed right now. We'll just choose the default and the default location. Change it if you want here with the browse. Then click next. Now we will click install. Windows might ask you if you have permission for it. Just click yes and we'll start installing it. We click Finish and we are done with the installer. Having installed OpenRPA, we can now start it up. Let me minimize this browser. Go down to your Start menu and search for OpenRPA. We will click the icon here and the first thing that will meet us is the login screen. Here you'll need to either log in with your Office 365 or Google uh, OAuth ID or create a new one. It's really easy to create a new one. You'll just type in your email. I will type in mine. Like this. And then a password. Like that. And I click sign in. Now you have created your account and you have signed in. OpenRPA will start in a second. A short break and service announcement. This little lovely fella is my newborn son and he will be joining me at my office sessions. Meaning that there will be a little bit of baby giggling in my videos for the next period. Now you're warned. Let's get back to the tutorial. Like here. Let me fit it to the windows so we can have everything with. So here we will have the getting started tab. The getting started tab that will present some useful shortcuts. And it will have Alan's videos. That's the genius behind this magnif magnificent product. Alan Zimmerman, he made some videos. I can recommend those. I can recommend Anders' videos too, not because he's a genius, but because he's me. I made a few OpenRPA videos as well. But we will not use this Getting Started tab. So let me close it. What we'll do here is that we can see that we have projects here. A project can consist of many workflows and let's create a new project. So click the new project. I will just call this Anders project. Call yours whatever you want. Then we'll click OK and OpenRPA will automatically create a new workflow. We can go back to this open project here and we can see that we have our new workflow here. We can choose to rename it. However, let's just stick to the new workflow for now. That's fine. We will use Toolbox and Properties a lot. Toolbox is here to the left. That's a lot of activity that we'll use. And the Properties is to the right. That is some properties to our activities. Here we'll have our main sequence. That's how we will perform the activities. It will be from the top and down. It's really easy and intuitive. However, say that we won't have our Toolbox and Properties here. It will look like this. Then we're in a mess because we will use toolbox and properties a lot. So what you do here is that you'll to the left, click toolbox and then pin it. Equally so with properties, pin it like this. Now we can create a simple workflow that will open up a browser and do a Google search. First, we will open up a browser. So inside the toolbox in the search field over here, search for open URL. We will take the Internet Explorer OpenRPA, that is the Internet Explorer, of course, 
and we will in a later lecture we will get back to how we can use other browsers with the NM over here. So here we'll need to provide OpenRPA with a URL. We can either type it in the field here or click the three dots. It's the same field, it's just a bit, little bit bigger here. So then you put in a quotation mark and then you put in your URL. I will put in mine, that's one you know, that's just google.com. Remember to end it with a quotation mark. Then we will click OK and we have created our first workflow now. Let me show you how it works. Click play. OpenRPA will start our workflow, it will open up the browser and navigate to Google. Like this. We can go back to our browser and see that we succeeded. That's fine. Now we want to do a Google search. And let me introduce you to a central key part here in OpenRPA. That's the record button. The record button, that will, when we press it, it will record your actions in the UI that could be a browser or an application. And then it will automatically create activities after we have done the actions. That's quite clever, isn't it? So click the record. We wanted to type in something here in the search field. So when we click here in the search field, OpenRPA will automatically detect that we want to insert some text. So here we can just search for maybe Anders OpenRPA. Then we'll click enter. OpenRPA will fill in the text here. And now we're done. We will click the search in a few minutes. However, let's click escape now. When we click escape, the recorder will end and it will put in our activities here. However, it is a bit of a mess in the description. So we will choose to click it and make a better description. What will we, what will we do now here? We will just say type. Then we will say uh, Anders open RPA. So here we will type in our search. We can close down our browser and verify that it work. So click play again, like this. We will open up the browser and you can see that we type in Anders open RPA or we can see it now. Now we just need to click the Google search. So we will use the recorder once more, click the record and simply just press the button here. After pressing the button, we can click escape and we can see here that we have created the click activity. Let's rename that as well. So we can just say click and maybe just search like this. We will close down our browser once more and click play. Now we will do our actual search and you can see that it's very easy to create workflows here in OpenRPA. We will go back to our Internet Explorer and we can see that we indeed have made our Google search. If you enjoyed this video, you can take the next lecture in this sequence of tutorials. That's the one video to the left, or you can click the video to the right. That's a demo and interview with OpenRPA founder, Alan Zimmerman.